UFC 292 Sterling vs. O'Malley takes place this Saturday. An absolutely stacked card with two title fights, a huge return, and of course the Ultimate Fighter finales. This video is for very new or very casual fans to give you the info you need going into this card. Let's not waste any more time. Let's start with the main event, out of the red corner, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Aljamain the Funk Master Sterling. Aljo is a grappling style fighter, known for his wrestling and ability to take an opponent's back. One of his many nicknames is the Human Backpack. The champion is probably the least liked champion in recent UFC history. A lot of that hate from the fans comes from when Aljo originally won the bantamweight title. He won that fight by disqualification, and many fans say Aljo was acting hurt after getting hit by an illegal knee from then champion Pyotr Jan. Aljo would start playing into that heel role, feeding into the actor narrative by calling himself an Academy Award winner. Aljo looks to add on to his records here. He already has the most title wins in bantamweight history and the most wins in the UFC's bantamweight division. He also said he has plans on leaving the division after this fight to go fight current featherweight champion and pound for pound king Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Standing in Aljo's way, of course, is a long-bodied, young striker, a fan favorite. That, of course, is Sugar Sean O'Malley. Welcome to the Sugar Show, ladies and gentlemen. The unique rising superstar is fighting in his first main event and his first title fight in the UFC. Sean O'Malley is known for his flashy striking style, his walk-off knockouts, and of course his colorful hair and tattoos. Sugar Sean is in a unique position here. He hasn't fought the toughest competition or had the hardest road, but he is finally here and can become one of the UFC's biggest stars in years with a win over Sterling. Sean O'Malley has the look, he has the style, now we will wait to see if he has the skills to back it up. This fight should be absolutely insane. A striker versus a grappler, I cannot wait. But before this main event, we do have another title fight. We have the strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li versus Amanda Lemos. Let's start with the champion, China's Wei Li. Zhang Wei Li is back and ready to defend her crown at UFC 292. She's looking for her first defense in her second reign as champion here. Zhang Wei Li is a very well-rounded, talented killer. She has the ability to stand up or fight on the ground with any fighter on the roster. The ground game specifically has improved a bunch as of late. We saw her defeat Carla Esparza, who's a very talented wrestler, on the ground last time out to gain this championship. She's the UFC's number three ranked pound for pound women's fighter, and in my opinion, she may be number one. Wei Li has a tough task in front of her though, as she is facing the rising Brazilian contender, Amanda Lemos. Amanda Lemos is a big, powerful contender. She is currently riding a two fight win streak, both fights by finish, one by sub, one by knockout. Amanda Lemos is kind of a kill or be killed fighter. She rarely goes the distance. One thing that may play a factor in this one is the fact that Lemos has never seen a fourth round in her professional career. This, being a title fight, of course, is scheduled for five rounds. It's going to be very interesting to see how her cardio will hold up if we do get to those championship rounds, as she does cut a ton of weight to make 115 pounds. She definitely presents a unique set of challenges, and this fight should be very entertaining. But before we see these two title fights, we're going to see a ton of fun fighters and a ton of fun fights. Let's talk about a few of those. The featured fight sees the young Irish prospect, the undefeated, Ian Gary. Gary was originally supposed to fight UFC veteran Jeff Neal. Neal was forced to pull out of the fight due to injury. Shortly after that, it was announced that Gary would fight another vet in Neil Magny. Ian Gary has a fun, fan-friendly style. He's a crisp striker who sometimes has a tendency to get into brawls. It's going to be very interesting to see the Irishman take on his biggest challenge to date in the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny. Magny is back in the octagon for the third time this year and the 31st time total in his UFC career. 
He is an absolute mainstay in the UFC's welterweight rankings. Neil got back in the win column last time out against the Fresh Prince, Phil Rowe, after losing earlier this year to Ian Gary's teammate, Gilbert Durinho Burns. Neil Magny, of course, is well-rounded, as anyone who's been in the UFC for 30 fights would be. I'm excited to see how this crossroad fight plays out. We're also going to see an important matchup in the bantamweight division, as two fan favorites will clash. Marlon Chito Vera takes on Pedro Munoz. Marlon Chito Vera is Ecuador's best bet for a UFC champion. He's a very unique fighter who sticks to his game plan. He's a counter striker who oftentimes will be losing fights on points until he eventually finds that knockout blow. He's going to be taking on the Brazilian veteran Pedro Munoz. Munoz kind of looked like his career was on the decline until all that turned around two fights ago. He was facing Sean O'Malley. Many would argue he was winning that fight until it ended unfortunately with an accidental eye poke. After Munoz recovered, he came back and defeated Chris Gutierrez. Guys, this fight has potential title implications. Cheeto is the only man to defeat O'Malley, and Pedro Munoz looked like he was on his way to doing that before the no contest. If Sean O'Malley wins this main event, the winner of this fight could potentially be next for the bantamweight title. On the prelims, we will see the long-awaited return of the All-American, the former champion, Chris Weidman. Weidman is coming back after almost two and a half years. He suffered one of the most brutal injuries you will ever see in your life as he shattered his leg throwing a leg kick against Uriah Hall. It's been a long and brutal recovery, and I'm sure the majority of MMA fans are nervous to see the return of the 39-year-old former champion Chris Weidman. Other people to look for on this card include Chris Weidman's opponent, the veteran, the Hawaiian striker, Brad Tavares. We will also see what should be an action-packed fight between Brazil Obama, Gregory Robocop Rodriguez. He will be taking on the Russian striker, Dennis Tolulin. We will also see rising wrestling prospect, Andre Petrosky. He will be facing the 50-fight veteran, the jiu-jitsu ace, GM3, Gerald Mearshart. And last but not least, guys, we will see the finales of this season's Ultimate Fighter. It was, of course, coached by Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. Four UFC veterans will fight, looking to earn a million-dollar contract and their road back to the UFC. Those fights are the bantamweights Cody Gibson, and he will be facing Brad Katona, and the lightweights Kurt Hollibaugh, and Austin Hubbard. Guys, UFC 292 takes place this Saturday, August 19th in Boston, Massachusetts at the TD Garden, of course the home of the Boston Celtics. Two title fights, this card should be absolutely bananas. If you enjoyed the video, we would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. We recently hit 100 subscribers, our new goal is 200, we really appreciate the support. This is Dino Bam Bam with D107MMA. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.